Wales, uh, my black belt under my professor Orlando Neto, teaching out of Roger Gracie in Vienna. Today I'm here with my friend Eddie, Jutopia Camp Boss. I'm gonna show a technique I taught at the last Jutopia. Highly recommend it, go there, enjoy the vibes, enjoy the training. But I'm gonna show you an outside elbow escape, okay? One of the best escapes uh, from uh, bottom mount. And an escape you're gonna use like from white belt onwards to black belt. I still use this one every day because it's rather effective. You just have to be patient and follow a step by step uh, process. So, the idea of this escape is if I'm in mount and I see that his feet are apart from each other, so he should connect them, he should touch them or cross the movement like a close guard. But if they're open, I can do the outside elbow escapes. Also, I can sometimes force the feet open if I really want to go for this escape. But for now, Let's, uh, I'm going to talk to white belts more today, so I'm going to show the basic movements first and how we think about this escape, okay? Number one, we have to block the hip, okay? Turn a bit. We have to block the hip in this fashion. I'm going to put a forearm across his hip, hand on one side, elbow on the other side. I'm going to touch my own hand and bring the elbow in front of his knee, okay? That's the basic arm position. Because he wants to slide up, slide up, my arms are going to keep him locked on top of my hip, which is very important here, okay? Turn. Now, let's have a look at the feet. Like this. If his feet are apart, that's the time to do the escape. So my arms are set, and now on the side are my elbows in front of the knee, right? The elbows are on the hip on this side, and this side is going to be in front of the knee. I have to turn towards that side. And look at my leg. I've got it completely flat on the ground. This is very important. I cannot be like this, because if it's underneath my leg, I cannot do the escape. It's impossible. Okay? So we start from here. Block, block. Turn to your side and flatten the foot on this side, on the side where the elbow is in front of the knee. Be very mindful of this elbow still, because he might try to take your back here. If you turn like this, he might take your back and armbar you, okay? So you have to turn, but keep the elbow locked on his hip still, so he can never go up or behind you, okay? Now, once we're here, elbow is still locked, elbow is locked, I'm on my side, the foot is flat, the leg is flat. Now, I'm gonna start pushing with my left arm and bring his foot lower than my knee. So, once the foot is lower than my knee, all I have to do is I have to start walking out my foot until his leg kind of pops over my knee, okay? If it doesn't pop, bring it back to here, I can just use this heel and drag it back to here. Now, the foot is locked, next I have to get the knee inside. And I'm going to keep my frames active, I'm going to keep my elbow in front, I'm going to keep this tight to my butt. Now, I'm going to open my bottom foot. Watch how I connect the, uh, my small toe, my little toe on the floor. I'm going to use this to shove my hip underneath. You see, I kind of bring my hip underneath his knee and lift it off the floor. No more than this. That's more than enough. Okay, and now I'm going to push with the elbow and pull my knee to my chest. Now the knee is strapped. Last part for the day, we're going to get our hands up to the shoulder line because for sure it's going to try to grab our head next, okay? We're going to frame the shoulder. We're going to use this foot to shrink out, get our hip to the other side, get it, sorry, get the knee in front and go back to a solid guard position, okay? You can go to close guard from there, but for now, half guard is fine. It's actually preferred nowadays because it's a very powerful guard. So we're going to be here, frame in front of the hip, frame in front or inside the knee. His feet are open, that's my trigger. I turn to my side, I flatten this leg, very important. Now, look at this, I push his foot with my elbow, I walk my foot out, and now it should be very easy to catch and drag his ankle to my own butt, okay? Please, don't be loose here. You have to pull this to your butt very close, okay? And then, keeping your frames here, you open the bottom foot, and you just do a slight reverse hip escape. I just want to get this light and off the floor. Now I'm going to push, again, my knee to my chest. Immediately, I go to here, foot on the floor, strip, frame, frame, and we are back in the game, ready to attack him, okay? So, this will be a basic uh, out the elbow escape. Every little detail matters. So take your time, get good at trapping the foot, then trapping the knee, then turning back to a solid frame. Okay? And then I'm gonna show some trouble shoots on the next video. So for now, that's it. Thank you very much. Thanks, lady. And see you next time.